Hello, and welcome to the continuation of lesson five. In this particular lesson, we're going to talk about correcting an image distortion, or like when you get from a fish eye camera. And this particular uh, exercise, we're going to use a filter, and we are going to find something that says image correction, let's see, camera raw filter, uh, where is that at? Give me one second to find it. Lens correction, that's what I'm looking for. Do you guys see it? Uh, there it is, lens, lens correction, there, found it. So we click on lens correction and we get this option. I'm gonna go ahead and show the grid lines so you can see, have some point of reference. I'm not gonna do the auto correct. I'm going to go ahead and show you the custom menu. This right here, Geometric distortion correction creates a more of a fisheye or less of a fisheye. See that? I am liking it right there. Now this creates the effects. See how dark it is on top and bottom? See how it's darkening? That's the vignette effect. I'm gonna go ahead and go the other way so you can see it when I lighten it up. See how light it is on top and the bottom? So I'm gonna put it, let me see where I want it. There we go, I like it right there. Midpoints, you can make the midpoints darker, lighter. I'm gonna leave it right in the middle. Now, vertical perspective. I'm straightening out the columns. I'm going straightening out the other way. See that? There we go. And of course, I have the horizontal perspective. Tilt to the left, tilt to the right. I'm gonna leave it at zero. I can also rotate the image as you can see. all the way around, bring it back to zero. I'll just type zero. And scaling the image, making it larger, making it smaller. Notice how it, the image looks weird because I'm correcting it. I'm doing the geometric distortion. Watch when I remove the geometric distortion, the image goes back to the original square view. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do the geometric distortion there we go. Let me scale it up a little bit, the image, almost like cropping it. I could just crop it, but I want it to fill the screen. And when I'm ready to commit, I click OK. We also have a drop down box to load the settings and save the settings that you, you just, we just set. I'm not going to do that. The autocorrect gives you some flexibility, but not too much. I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK to make a commitment, and there's my image straightened out. That's all there is to lesson five. 